today is Vlogger Day 1049. Good morning. It's Saturday. <clears throat> no, no, it's Friday. It's Friday, out, and it's uh, I think it's a, a, a holiday today. It's pretty dead out there. I went and got a baguette a minute ago. Had some coffee. The plan today is to go have lunch with Poonam, who is Pushan's mom. She has her own YouTube channel about Indian cooking, and it's mostly in French. So for those of you that are wanting to improve your French and learn how to cook Indian food, it's probably a good combination for you. So we're gonna go have some lunch with her, uh, check out what she's making. And then my plan is to try and talk Pushan into eating some spicy snacks that my sister got for me uh, that are half in Spanish. And we'll see what all they are. But I'm gonna try and get him to do that with me maybe after we have lunch. So stick around and see us try a bunch of random spicy snacks like spicy Skittles. Who knew that was a thing? I did not. Yeah, let's go. I'm making rotis. Roti, are you, but that, uh, you know, I I prefer roti or naan to rice any day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I remember that. Remember you saying that? No. So we'll do that. Excellent. What's the difference between roti and naan? Uh, roti is just made with plain um, whole wheat flour. Yeah. Without any baking powder or you know soda or something, mm -hmm. and you can make it immediately in ten minutes. And naan, you have to keep it for some time. You have to mix a lot of things in it, like uh, baking soda, baking powder, or fresh uh, levure, as they call it here. Yeast, levure is yeast. So what I've done today is I've used the roti flour. I've put in some carom seeds in it. I've put baking soda, a little bit of oil, and I've used uh, sparkling water. Mm. So that, you know, they'll flap up, they'll um, swell up more. That is an interesting trick. Yeah. Normally, uh, naans are oval shaped, unless they're stuffed. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Store, oh. flame a little bit, cook it more. Yeah, your sister Barbecue. did that a lot too, actually, when she was making it. Flipped it on the gas. Oh, in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they have the gas. You want to taste it? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Take a bite. Okay. Ooh. Is it cooked inside? Mm hmm. It's cooked. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Crispy and fluffy. Mm, yeah. Mm. It's not undercooked. Or... Mm -mm. 
It's because perfect. It's, it's hard, right? Mm -hmm. Stoves have made it. Before we done it with the dessert. Pretty nice delicious spice mix. What we're gonna also say, which we didn't, I didn't realize until we were down here to do the spicy snacks, was that Phnom, she wants to try out doing Skype lessons. She teaches lessons on how to make Indian food. She's been doing it for a long time. They have a cookbook together, which I have on my shelf. It's fantastic. And so she wants to do some Skype lessons. She wants to try it out, see how it goes. So she said that she would give two of you, two of you, just two of you, a Skype lesson each if you're interested. And if you are interested, go follow her over on Poonam Paris on Instagram. Go find the newest photo. Leave a comment with a hashtag in it. The hashtag will be Poonamalicious. <laughs> and uh, and leave that hashtag as a comment underneath her photo and she will contact two of you. She's gonna pick two people at random to have like a Skype, an actual Skype lesson on how to make Indian food. That was like 20 minutes, right? Like a 20 minute long Skype lesson and she'll teach you how to make something delicious. Totally, 100% worth it. So that's Poonam Paris on Instagram. Go follow her and now on to spicy snacks. For those of you who don't know Pushan, which should be probably zero of you, is a fantastic photographer make some great YouTube videos, just go follow him right now before we even get started. <laughs> My sister gave me a bunch of, she probably, she probably doesn't even know that I have these because she there's a, a series of events that almost prevent me from even getting these. And so hopefully she's very excited to see this. How old do you? Karin. Uh, I was just in America and she left them at my parents' house. Okay. Yeah, and she left them in a package for me with my name on it and somehow my mom thought it was for her and opened it for herself. So that, that did not go well. We have a whole bunch of different interesting, they're all, I don't think they're all spicy. Chan was saying this one's just sweet. What is this? Is this like a Mexican street waffle? Yeah, it's like really famous in Mexico and they have like dulce de leche in there. It's really, really super sweet and super delicious. Perfect. We can, we can end with that. We should end with this. We have coffee too. We had to take. We had to get a little coffee to try and perk back up a little bit. So we have spicy Skittles, which sound absolutely outrageous. And it looks like Karn tried it and taped it shut. Either that or my mom did. I'm not sure. I actually suspect my mom did that. Pulparin dots. I have no idea what that is. Are tamarind. These? Tamarind. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Tamarind. This is why you bring Prashant along. He knows about everything. Mexico about food. and India. They have a lot of things in common. <laughs> What's we have this? all these common ingredients. Chocolate K. What is this? Ricotta bean. This I don't know. Okay. It looks like it's even crack. <laughs> cracky. It's cracky. Okay. A cracky. And then this is like a fruit roll up. A mango fruit roll up, which I'm really excited about. That does not appear to be spicy either. So I, I feel like I oversold how spicy this is all going to be. Oh, I think this is dipped in chili. Like in chili. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Um, yeah. And then the Japan, the Japanese dry roasted crunchy chili lemon peanuts. Fuego. So it's Japanese, but it's like, oh, it's it's, a, yeah. <laughs> it's super confusing. This, this, this looks like they just live in the liner. Oh, like they do. Should we start with this? I want to end with that. You want to end with this? I mean, we're going to end with that. Okay, what's the order? I don't know, so this, okay, no, this, this is, is yeah. last. This is definitely last. Um, let's start with the Japanese ones. Right? You, do you want to start with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll start with those, and then we'll do something sweet, and then something spicy, and then something... These are very similar pro taste profiles. They'll be oh, acidic okay. and kind of like fruity. So, that's our order. Japanese spicy peanuts from Mexico. Here we go. Hold out your little hand. No, that's more than I wanted to start with. Ah! Okay. Dos, what's peanut in Spanish? I'm blanking right now. Um, mm, cacahuete in French. Is it bondigas? That would be Is it? a surprise. Yeah. Also not spicy. No, oh, cacahuete. These yeah, are like so sweet. It's the same, like cacahuete. Mm, a cacahuete? A more? I mean, sure. How do you like it? They're not, They're not spicy. spicy. No. They're kind of like, I could definitely have these as a snack. Mm. Nope. Very limey. Mm. Mm. Citrusy. Yeah. That's it. I'm not sure I get the Japanese influence, but I like mm -hmm. it. There's a little bit of spice. But after I ate a handful of them, I can taste a little spice. It's also a little Mexican. Though. Right. Yeah. Fuego, not so much. Yeah, but definitely worth it. Really good airport snack, if I find it in an airport. Be a good airport snack? Yeah. El Super Leon. Leon. How do you say I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> so we do El Super Leon. El Super Leon. Leonito de Mango. A mango burrito. Oh, this is not even a fruit roll up, this is a fruit burrito. You can put a plate. Uh, yes. Ooh, it is a fruit roll up. Ah, oh, see, I was hoping it was a fruit roll up. I haven't had a fruit roll up in forever. I used to, those used to be a favorite snack as a kid. You need a knife? <laughs> we might need a knife. I feel like it's, I feel like there's something, I feel like there's something inside. Should we cut it in the middle? Yep. Oh, yeah. Na, na, na. There's some kind of paste in there. It's, that's the mango paste. So I'm gonna cut two little pieces. We just had a really delicious big lunch uh, at his mom's, so the amount that we need to eat right now is, is lower. Oh, sticky. Well, it smells good though. Cheers. That was weird. Oh, this is weird. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. Mm hmm. This is gonna be mm. very similar. Mm. Yeah. 
chili in it. Mm-hmm. It, we have the same exact thing in India. I have my buddy Miguel, he's Mexican, and he, mm-hmm. he always tells me the, the candy I bring from India and the stuff we have in India is very similar to the ones in Mexico. Now I understand why. Now I understand why. I want to go to Mexico this summer. I need to spend more time in Mexico. Ooh, mmm, mmm. That's a, that's a lot of flavor. I like it, and it also is light and spicy. Maybe I need some coffee to cleanse my palate. Yeah, I think it was, it was we need palate cleanser. Ooh, it's kind of salty too. It's got salty sweet going. So in, in Southeast Asia, I think in Mexico, they, they dip fruit and mix of chili also. Mm. Like, have mango like that. So, makes a lot of sense. That. Super Leon. All right, got all that sticky stuff off the palate. I didn't. Huh. Sort of. That's good. That's really good. Mm-hmm. So she, it's, I enjoyed that way more than I thought I would. I, that was a completely different experience than I was expecting. I did enjoy it. <laughs> but when I'm going into it thinking like, ah, fruit roll-up, this is not a fruit roll-up. No, like you, you shouldn't give like a, an American or European child this because they'll freak out. Or you should, so they freak out. Teach them a lesson. All right, here's Teach them when they're really young. Like, the first time they try lemon. I know what my favorite Skittles are normally, but I don't know what to imagine. I don't even know what to think of this. We got the same exact colors at least. Wow, that's, wait, is there only two colors? Yellow there? and pink. Uh, no, <laughs> yes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so cool, it could have been yellow and yellow. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a red one in there too, apparently. I, my mom went in and took all the red ones out. All right, tastes like Skittles. I haven't had Skittles in like 10 years, I think. I kind of miss Skittles. I usually do package stuff, but oh, there's a kick in the end. Is there? Maybe it's the mm. mango. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, mm. yep. There's a little bit. Of, there's a little heat to that. One of my favorite, one of the nicest gifts anyone ever gave me was my sister. Knowing which Skittles I liked, she bought a whole bunch of Skittles and filled a mason jar with them, but layered them with my my most favorite flavor on the bottom and my least favorite on top, which is great because then you you you, you, you have to work your way through it. But then you start with the one. It's like the anticipation of getting your favorites. You also have to eat the whole drink. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's a lot. I did not do it at once, but I was a kid. I probably did eat it pretty quickly. <laughs> much faster than I should have. Coffee palate cleanser is a weird one. Honestly enough, it, like, weirdly enough, it works, though. It does. Yeah. That weird, um, so a little bit of the salty mango. Yeah, I still have some. Also, the Skittles are also very Those are, ta- I I, those Skittles are one of those things. I haven't had them in a long time, and I kind of miss them. Oh, that smells really good. This is going to be completely different. Thank you. Chocolate, chocolate wafers here. Ooh. It smells really good. Right? Yep. Mmm. Mmm. They're malt wafers. Those are like malt malt discs. That's really good. Those are really good. Muchas gracias. Also makes me think of like Whoppers, which I miss. Is that Mexican? It's written, it could be. Cornflakes with chocolate artificial. Oh, they're cornflakes? I think like this is this is from the US. But, anyway, it's good. I mean, I don't recognize it. Chocolate. Rico, Ricolino. Kind of chocolate. But it is in English. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so cornflakes. I thought I was I immediately made me think of um, like mal- Maltesers or something like that. But yeah, I guess I was wrong. This is why my palate isn't to be entirely trusted. This goes well with coffee. Mm-hmm. That one's gonna go really oh mm, really well with the coffee. Okay. Ooh, Ooh tamarindo. This is gonna be great. What's this one called? Pulparin dots. Pulparin. Pulparin dots. Pulparin. Again, no hablo español. They have little tamarind. <laughs> uh, dancing around. <laughs> oh, is that what these are? Yeah. They look a little bit, oh, they're like, they're they're hanging out, they're dancing around the ball. Yeah. They look a little bit like uh, Mr. Hanky from South Park. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for that. <laughs> All right. Mm. Not really my style. Dude, I'm assuming you didn't grow up eating tamarind, right? No. Yeah. I, f- I really like that. Yeah. Tastes kind of like um, so good. Like um, kids' vitamins to me. It's super strong. It's super acidic. It's really super strong. concentrated. Yeah, <laughs> it's really strong. Mmm. Well, you can keep that one. Okay. I'm also gonna leave you the rest of the burrito because I know you you liked it way more than I did. It's gonna be a lot of snacking today. It's not that much snacking. There's this thing. How do uh, we... You're gonna like this one. Okay, the ob obleas las s- s- sevillanas. Sevillanas. Because you say the L's in Spanish. Sevillanas. Right? Sevillanas. To be honest. It's like a yeah. Yeah. Similar to French. The Argentinians pronounce it in a different way, but let's not go into that right now. <laughs> I have nothing to say on the subject. People from South America will oh, know what I mean. I like those. Yeah. Okay, here, here you go. Um, I have half legs. No, I'll take the other half. Cheers. Mm. You had dulce de leche before, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Nice sweet note though. This goes really well with coffee too. That was this is gonna go great with coffee. Much softer flavor too. That one was a kick in the face. That it said it was tamarind. Tamarind, yeah. I didn't. 
actively dislike it, but I wasn't like thrilled by it. What's your favorite? Mm. The cracky? Yeah, the cracky. I think the, the chocolate corn wafers was probably my favorite. Yours? They're very good, but like I think if we're going for a spicy snack, I'd probably go with the tamarind ones. Mm. Or the mango. Yeah, the, yeah that, that was pretty tasty. The peanuts were the most underwhelming in the end. Yeah, I was like, I, I had really high expectations for those. Because I'm also like... I should have filmed these, all these up close before we ripped them apart, but... I was thinking about that, <laughs> but... I saw I'll show you the bags. I thought maybe I'd done that like, <laughs> in the morning. Nope. I'll, uh, I'll show you the, uh, the... We didn't tear them up too badly, so you should be able to see them pretty well. Anyways, if you uh, are into spicy snacks, most of these were spicy. Those are some options. We definitely cannot sure. Definitely cannot get these in uh, in France. You know, I lo I love peanuts, and he's addicted my, to peanuts. Yeah, I'm addicted. And when I traveled, I met this Colombian girl like in Bali a few years ago, and we had this whole business plan about a, opening a restaurant in which every recipe was peanut based, from like the bar snacks to like the appetizers, dishes to desserts. That would either do really well or kill a lot of children. Oh, well, it doesn't have to be called peanuts. <laughs> yeah, you, sure. have to, hmm. you have to put up like a, a barrier for people to walk through. Every dish contains nuts. <sighs> Not even gonna go there. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks for uh, sharing in the mess. Yeah, thanks for sharing. These of course. Things. Anyways, uh, that's that's it for today. Lunch with Punem and snacks with Pushan, and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for. Oh, I'm going to Versailles tomorrow. So if you're excited for that, we'll be. I'm taking the way away out to do some invader hunting in Versailles, which should be a lot of fun. Oh man, I need to catch up. Mm-hmm. You can come with us. I'm leaving. <laughs> I know you are. You can take advantage.